think the goal is to work on starting the day and ending the day with yourself. And the more you do that, the more you start making those minor investments and and things that are important to you. Gradually, you're able to fill in the rest of the day with time that's focused on yourself. So working on a skill, working on craft, working on a hobby, make the day four parts. So you have morning, you have afternoon, you have that weird time before like six, seven o'clock, and then you have the nighttime. So if you do the nighttime, you do the morning for self, you're focusing on yourself. And then that afternoon, it's just, you know, your regular work. And at some point, you could cut back that you could cut back those hours to being part time. And from there, now you have the morning, you have the that weird late afternoon, evening, and you have the night for yourself. Then at some point, the work and the time you've put in allows you to get rid of that part time job. And now the whole day is just dedicated to what you love and what you want to do. It's progress, but it takes time it takes time, but I think that's a good way to look at it. So the mindset of starting a day with, with yourself is acknowledging that it's malice and energy. Right? So the reciprocity, sometimes you you reciprocitize <laughs> with yourself. I just spent six, five hours asleep. I'm rested. When my body wakes up, you know, I don't I don't wake up from an alarm. When my body tells me to wake up, I wake up. And I don't like lying around in bed. I don't like lying lying down on the couch and saying, oh, I just rested. Why am I still tired? I get up, I wake up, and I do something high energy to help me prepare for the day. And that's why I say I start with myself. I start with myself. I created a foundation for my energy. This is the high of my day, and I control how the rest of it is going to flow. No, no one else will. And you know that's the goal, but you know it's it's not always realistic. You're gonna get out of your zone. You're gonna get upset. You're gonna Whatever, you know, you're going to go through motions and emotion throughout the day. The more you start with it with yourself in the day, the less those moments impact. There's nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being a control freak when it comes to your own life. And that's, that's my mindset. I know I'm a, I'm a control freak. I have mild OCD, but it's rooted in knowing what makes me happy and doing what I want to do for the most part. But I understand it's a compromise. And as a reciprocity, I understand that I'm in society. But for the most part, as much of my life has to be controlled by me. If not me, then who?